Okay, moving along on the 17-inch uh, Sylvania set. Um, now have the circuit board removed from the chassis. You can see there on the chassis. Um, what I ended up doing, if you'll recall from the last video, um, I had to disconnect all the wiring connected to the post on the circuit board in order to remove this and actually get to this board uh, to where I can reasonably service it. Ended up having to remove all the wires. And of course I've got all the wires labeled. I have uh, a chart and diagram that I drew out um, in my code that I can understand. Um, if you do ever have to remove one of these circuit boards uh, from the chassis with all these different wires, I highly recommend that you take um, lots of reference photos with as much detail as you can and then create a diagram that will help you uh, when we go to install this back. And then of course I've got a lot of uh, masking tape on all these wires that uh, correlate to the diagram. So, something that you definitely should do uh, because it would be very, very difficult to remember where all these wires go back uh, when reinstalling it. So, where I'm at on the board is begun the process of changing out um, some of the resistors and in checking some of the old resistors, um, actually I had a couple that just just crumbled uh, when I went to pull a lead out. So uh, some of these resistors have gotten pretty darn hot by these tubes. So at this point, um, most of these are just standard half watt resistors. There's a couple of two waters in here and a couple of one watts. Um, but I'm thinking now I'm probably just going to have to go through and do a wholesale resistor change on this board. Really, some of these I'm really suspect just due to age and heat that it suffered of uh, going back with the same type of um, resistors. I'm not I'm not doing that. These are the standard carbon uh, composite type resistors. Um, I have these and. You know, on a lot of vintage sets, guys like to put these back in. Uh, I do too. Um, they're fine uh, to use. Um, but I'm, I'm choosing on this particular board to go with these metal oxide resistors. These are one waters. Um, and these only are calling for half watts, so it's, it's definitely overkill. But the reason I'm choosing to go with, with these... Uh, metal oxide ones is they withstand heat um, a little bit better than the carbon counterparts. In fact, these are supposedly flame proof. So, uh, probably in this application, they're a lot safer to use. But again, they're a little more expensive. Uh, this is probably a little, a lot of overkill. Uh, but it's just, just what I, I've chosen to do on this particular board. The type of capacitors that I'm, I'm coming back with are a combination of uh, just your standard axial film caps and then uh, some orange drop caps too. Um, you can see that I've already replaced a couple of the caps. Um, here's one here and then there's one of the uh, orange drop caps. Uh, it's, it's, it, you know, I, I, a lot of people have their thoughts on which is better. Um, I, in all the TVs that I've ever worked on, and I've used both types of caps, and I can't tell any difference. Uh, supposedly in some circuits, one's better than the other, but basically I think they're the same kind of cap, so uh, I'll, I'll be changing out quite a few caps in here. And these are the types that I'm going back in with. Here's some of the old ones. Um, and I got my capacitance checker out just to kind of see 
how these caps were and they're really they're not horrible um, for instance this was a point one five rated at uh, 200 working volts and if we put it on the checker see if I can do this one-handed and put this on uh, that's the correct scale bridge oh, it looks like we're getting capacity uh, in ESR reading it's not real strong but it's reading about 0.15 I don't know if you can see that eye moving or not but as I move the dial you can see it moving and where it's open at its most not real strong capacitance there but it, it is at 0.15 and then a leakage test and I'm putting in 150 volts on it right now uh, you can see it's open so that cap is definitely leaky and I, I'm finding uh, you know for every one cap that's maybe acceptable um, the others are completely wide open so that's not good. Um, definitely would impair the performance of this TV. So that's where I'm at. Um, just looking at the back of the board. Um, there was a lot of flux from the original solder job um, on this board. In fact, that's another reason why I want to go through and literally check every component because the solder job the original solder job on this board was, well, in my opinion, it was horrific at best. I saw a lot of cracked joints, a lot of uh, a lot of really bad solder connections, and then these traces on here. These are very very delicate. So, how I am installing components is basically clipping clipping the leads from above. Um, clip the lead from above then heat it up from the back side and and basically uh, the connection just falls through the board so um, hopefully I'm doing putting more pressure uh, going up from the board and away from these traces than you know putting some type of sucking mechanism on on the back of these leads and and, and sucking the solder off that way. So, not not extremely difficult work here, just tedious, tedious work. Um, then once I get it all done and go through every connection, then I'll I'll give it another once over of of cleanup. It's not too bad now. It was really, it was really bad. I, uh, you can see some there. There's still some. That's all flux left over from the factory. I think that was part of the problem with this type of technology back then was just simply the solder, soldering equipment that they were using. It's just very, very difficult uh, to use as opposed to like this cheap little soldering iron that I'm using here that you can pick up at Radio Shack. Um, but it's got a very small point tip on it and uh, try not to keep this on any any connection on this board very long um, it's only a 40 watt iron so it's more than enough to be uh, working on this this board so and as I'm going through and getting the components changed you know I'm getting the board cleaned up quite a bit